Sophia Ligel with the Empower Love Way and today I wanted to do a uh, share um, a video talk to you about the two things but in in the in the energy of are you feeling scared of uh, diving into the dark and I feel like um, fear is such a charge energy such as as well anger or you know emotions such as guilt and shame and the way that we have been mm, conditioned in our society and culture especially in the western culture that's where i grew up in argentina and i've been living in canada for many many years now uh, but we learn um to create from a place of fear because we have um part of the foundation is that you especially like i see it very clearly every time i go back uh, to my home country because in canada there's a level of security and kind of stability that um that in argentina it's very much uncertain all the time through the experience that um, through years and years of experiencing that uncertainty it kind of uh, continues to be that way and so that has created a certain kind of culture that in a way it's a certain way of being and um, kind of it's that rule of the jungle like the way of the jungle that the strong strongest wins and there's a certain disregard from for the whole and the whole community the whole tribe in a way um that also comes from a mindset of scarcity where and fear of not having enough and of um you know uh what's the word like um in order for me to be safe, I have to take care of myself and I disregard the whole. And so there, I feel like in this few years, there's many, many different things and themes around this that have been popping out and becoming very evident. So the way of, you know, the those aspects of a confused uh, observer have been shining, been shining the light into us, into our own awareness so we can see it and transmute it and transform it and start vibrating and start living from a different observer as a collective, not only in your own personal life, not only in your community, but also as a global homi uh, humanity. And one of the things that, um, you know, COVID has done is that in a way it connected us. It, we didn't only have to slow down, we also, which that brought a lot of aspects into the distractions were dropped. So we had to do a lot of personal work and see what was alive within us to get in touch with our emotions, things that we have been avoiding or denying, running away for a very long time. Now they surface because as you begin to slow down, you begin to feel them. And so <coughs> that happened. And then on top of that, there was um, a lot that surfaced. And, and so, I um the the as the we began to connect through the internet and um learn to connect and maintain connection in a different way that also um open up a new level of interconnectedness with with the whole and how we can balance that evolution in the technology in the way that we're connecting with one another in a way that is also um in a in a balanced way so there's a lot of uh, people are speaking their voice their opinions and also how can you we continue to cultivate a balance in that so anytime there's a shift that uh, creates a shift it goes to a certain extreme and creates confusion and there's a certain 
way of chaos where there's a perfect order in the chaos as well and then it goes to those extremes until it finds that um, centeredness so to give you a clear example many years ago um, um, yeah okay so <laughs> I have an example so many years ago I quit smoking this is like 15 years ago now maybe more um 20 well anyways um i quit smoking and to do that i went all the way to the other side i made a huge shift in my life where you know i stopped smoking i, I wasn't drinking i wasn't taking even any advil any medicine any anything so i went to the other extreme with one um Living one thing, I went to the other extreme until finally, after many, many years, I came back to center, even in food, the things that I was eating. Because one change can activate a whole different shift in, in around it. And you can see that what happened to us in COVID. You know, from going from COVID going home, there was a whole shift and change that occurred that unfolded from that one thing. And so the same thing is the same. So I, I stopped smoking and in that my my food changed, my friends, the way I was connecting with myself, what I was doing, the times where I was smoking, what I, I decided then to occupy and connect myself with. I started to meditate more instead of, you know, using that time that I, where I would be smoking. So a lot of things I started to pay more attention to my body and what I'm putting into my body, the relationships I was having, the places where I was going that created that one choice, that one shift catapult and created a whole transformation in my life and who I am, which I actually went through a, an existential crisis, an identity crisis, because I st started to transform who I was. And that because the energy and the vibration that I was living from, it began to translate into a different frequency as well. And so just as the cells of your body begin to shift every seven years, you, every seven years you have an entirely new sets of cells, therefore your body is completely different. And in fact, you can see it, you know, like when you were three years old, you had a different body, you were, you had so many different bodies. And so in the same that you can say in one lifetime there's a thousand millions infinite lifetimes in one of your lifetimes so it's the same transformation is it's in the way it's like you let go of something in order for the new to 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 come to be birthed and we do that through our vibration as well and then it's translated um, into the physical world and this is what we're going through as well and one shift in one thing one activity can shift a whole perspective and a way of being and this is what's happening and so coming back to what um, I wanted to talk about about the um, fear and um, how we have been conditioned to create and to be in life through the energy of fear instead of light of love because you know simple things as as competition how to evolve you have to there's the the there was the idea you have to compete with somebody else instead of collaborate this shift is already we are understanding and we're integrating the shift more and more and so the um the shift of pushing pushing through life and um, you have to work harder in order to achieve more. You are, we're understanding that you are energy, everything is energy and it's about energy, it's not about actually doing more. But we have been conditioned to be productive, to actually be doers, to do in order to have, in order to then be. And we're shifting a whole way of being that is be and from your being, you're inspired to do from your being and the having comes naturally. So we're shifting to, I should be this way 
and I have to do this in order to be. We're shifting into being. We're understanding that uh, we are divine beings, that you are a divine being of light, of energy, of source. You are an extension of source energy. You are an extension of the universe. You are a child of the universe, and the light of the universe ex exists within you as you and you are a unique and unrepeatable expression of the universe imagine the shift that happens in your perspective and the child's perspective and in the entire whole world when a child comes into the world knowing that he or she is divine and that he or she is an extension of source energy of the universal energy and there's an intelligence that it's in everything and everywhere. It exists within you and it exists in all life here on planet Earth and in the universe and beyond. And so when we begin to truly understand and embody and really believe that you are a divine being, that you are an expression of that divine, that your life is here. You're here as you, through your name, your role, your family. It's a glimpse in, in the time of your soul. Your soul has made the decision to come here, to incarnate into this beautiful body, into this beautiful planet, that the planet is alive, that you are part of the extension of this planet. And that your time is just so minuscule in the time of the infinity of what it is your soul and what is spirit and source energy as well and so you are that extensive energy infinite energy connected to source to source to god to um, the universal energy if you don't feel comfortable with god and in order to be here in this manifestation of the physical the physical way where we are understanding, identifying with the parts of the whole. And so we can say, I am Sophia, you are you, and we are this. There's the tree, there's the top of the tree, there's the roots. We can, you know, assign names and meanings and labels to make sense of the whole that is source and universe, I have mentioned this before, the universe doesn't identify and doesn't particularize. Source is source, is a whole. And you, as Rumi said, you are the ocean in a drop. You're not a drop in an ocean, you are the ocean in a drop. The universal energy exists within you as you particularized way of being, of existence of the source, of the universe. And each one of us has a place to be. And it's nothing here in this life is casual. And so the way we're understanding to understand life in this way is that whatever is happening in, in life, whatever you're observing, and that reflection that you're observing is your life, is uniquely yours. That experience of your life has been created from years of what you learn from your parents, your culture, what from your own personal experiences, and you created an assigned meaning. Certain specific situations that happened in your life, you made sense in a certain way. That's why it you know, perhaps your brother or sisters had the same experience, but they created a different meaning because they explained that experience in a different way. And so from that explanation, you created a, a structure, a mental structure, and because collectively the mental structures that we tend to, to create are from fear instead of from love. And so the way we started to create and move through life, it's actually from the energy of fear, from not enoughness, from being being better than and if you're not enough you have to push harder you have to work harder and it comes all from a basic energy of of fear and so we're choosing us collectively we're learning how to integrate fear face fear face those places of darkness and um, move through the darkness understand the gift and cherish the the harvest of the darkness because for example, I remember I remember uh, when I started doing my work, like language, that um, 
it was seen not only my family as something weird but you know it is it is something weird so I remember when I started to show up in <laughs> more and more there was uh, this fear my fear was of feeling humiliated um, that I would be humiliated and you know losing a sense of dignity in a way and I realized that every time that I went through a place where I had experienced being humiliated been feeling that you know I follow my heart somewhere and that didn't come through and I felt humiliated that I did and I went for something in my life and that didn't come through and I felt humiliated every single time where there was an experience where I felt humiliated I learned about humility I learn about in that place of like okay this is where i am it's, i am at my lowest point point i feel like the world my world has collapsed everything i believed the structure that i believed in is has collapsed completely and i'm rock bottom i feel that place of of feeling um you know just humbled by life because i got up and there was a strength and a power and a love that rose within me and all around me that reminded me of the gift of my life, the gift of who I am. It reminded me to honor myself and my life, honor what has been alive in my heart and to follow through and i've been humbled humbled by my past by my life by my light and by life itself and i felt god the divine that universal energy at those times so close to me and within me and guiding me forward so i learn about humility and this is the world of polarity of seeing the other the other one is reflecting yourself we learn this is how we understand ourselves and discover about ourselves everything outside you it's an aspect of who you are because it's an aspect of the whole and you are seeing the outside through your own filters through your own explaining of the world and who you are in life and they are simply the mirrors of who you are everything outside of self yourself speaks about you and so the beginning of this of this video was about it feeling afraid of uh, diving into the darkness and and I was speaking about how it's part of also our conditioning and you you gotta get there you gotta go into your fears because there's a treasure in your fears you gotta go to those dark places that we tend to avoid and hide and run away from it said you know feeling that it's you're not good enough or there's not um there's not enough or feeling unworthy or feeling um that you're gonna be humiliated when you reach those places you discover the other in a way the other polarity there's a gift in all the experiences and you learn because we learn through the experience we discover who we are and we discover about the wholeness of life in those moments and so i know there was a, there's also in a spiritual world sometimes there's this you know being positive being high energy and so on and that is not just it's like i'm gonna think positive the deeper work is knowing that because when you only want to be enlightened that you only want to think positive there's an underlying fear there that is a fear of not being positive the fear of not being enlightened and so you're not coming from wholeness and completeness and you're not coming from love in that sense you're coming from fear so the peace and the the, the path is about accepting you are whole and complete 
and you're divine, you're a divine child of the universe. The light of the universe exists within you as you. And you're living in this experience when, where there's experiences of things that you might uh, assign or explain as dark and create meaning as dark or light, happiness and happiness. So the sadness, you, you, the sadness, it brings you the gift of what, what you have lost and the love that exists within you. The fear brings you what is truly important to you, what it truly matters to you. And the love that you are. So you're gonna forget, you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna get it wrong, you're gonna get it right. You're gonna one day feel like you're, you know, at your hundred perfect effort. And the next day you're gonna be at your 30% perfect effort. And all is okay. One day you're gonna feel super happy and the other day you're gonna feel sad. All is okay. That's life. That's what it's all about. And how do you choose? What do you choose to do with your experience? How do you choose to be with yourself and your experience with others and the world? That's it. That's what it's all about. And so I hope that helps you and supports you. And I just want to finish with a light language transmission about unifying to your divine energy, your divine signature energy into the divine being of light that you are. So let's place both feet on the earth. Take a deep breath in. In your mind, he Kumalaten iniana kumarutu ranaya jerehia jerehia na ho mataya rohore ya lata ya nae oh e Taking a deep breath in into the heart. Beautiful. I want you to, if you have time, to get into your journal and just ask your soul, your divine nature, what message does it have for you? And a message of the universe for you and the message of the aspect of your light and the aspect that you relate and perceive as the dark. Just ask for the message there. What are the gifts and what do they have to inform you about who you are and life and the world? Send you a big, big hug. Stay 
connected, aligned with the truth of who you are, with what enlivens you and uplifts you, what gives you and brings you more life and gives you permission and allowance to be that expression and beacon of light who you have come here to be, express, create, and anchor in the world through you as you. Ciao.